Good day. This is a weather forecast for Longmont covering Thursday through Monday, April 2nd to the 6th. Jumping into the moon Saturday night. If you're out walking around, this will be after our storm. Uh, you'll have some nice illumination. 75% uh, illuminated face of the moon rising in the afternoon and setting well after you've gone to bed with uh, 12, almost 13 hours of the moon being up in the sky. But between now and then, we have a storm to get through. Uh, you can see on the water vapor satellite image here where dry air is the reds and oranges over here, like off the east coast and down uh, in the Caribbean. You've got uh, moist air in the whites, even very cold, uh, icy cloud tops in the purples and blues here, the grays and, and uh, uh, Darker gray colors here are kind of a moderately moist air. You can even see mountain ranges and interesting features here, the patterns in there as the air lifts and drops over those ranges. But for us, we have the big trough coming down the west coast. We have a flow of moisture coming uh, across Southern California and a deeper source of moisture coming across Mexico into the Midwest. Yes, there will be severe weather out there uh, in a few days because of that. But for us, we have big, that trough pushing on shore by Friday morning, and you really have a large uh, northern branch low pressure system. You can see this closed circles in the 500 millibar lines here, and that trough extending down across us, but really heights are low across all of the western US. So it's gonna be chilly, lots of cold air in the west kind of a warm, hot ridge will be pushing to the east, uh, giving them a, a little bit of a early summer taste before the cold reaches the east coast. Going six hour chunks at a time, midnight, Wednesday into Thursday, cold front is pushing down to the northern tier of states. We have a lot of snow in Wyoming, some watches and warnings up there and into uh, South Dakota. For us, not that strong. Again, the, the center of the cold air is going to stay kind of the north. And so we're going to be on the boundary, the sort of conflict zone between the, uh, the jet stream and the cold air up there and the warmer, moist air to the south. Moving forward to Thursday night, <clears throat> we have a lot more precipitation in the northern mountains, the western slopes and a little bit going out in the Northeast Plains as the front pushes down into New Mexico and the Oklahoma Panhandle. It's not well organized. You can see uh, uh, low is trying to consolidate here in southeastern uh, Colorado, which will give us some upslope flow and help enhance the snowfall once the cold air arrives. Going to Friday morning, the front's pushed down, that low has moved south as well. We still have some uh, overrunning snow, kind of upslope snow here, some snow in the mountains. You can see that <clears throat> with that trough going by, we have sort of a northwest flow now over the western US, and that's gonna allow little ripples like this low to come down and give us some additional uh, precipitation later Friday night. Once that goes by, the ridge comes back and we warm up very nicely for the weekend and beyond. Let's take a look at that 10-day trend. I've highlighted the freezing line here with the dotted line going through here. We're starting out really warm Wednesday going into Thursday. See the temperatures just drop right down to below freezing Friday. They don't go far away from the freezing line, drop back down again. The GFS sees three distinct periods of precipitation. So we have, as the temperatures are dropping, Wednesday night into Thursday morning, we have a chance of precipitation there. It should start as rain, maybe a little bit of snow later on. Then the front comes through, and we have snow for Thursday afternoon, and we have that late night Friday chance as well. Other models show more continuous, so it'll be interesting to see what uh, comes of that. Beyond that, we really warm up. Temperatures going far above freezing, really nice. We probably should be seeing some 70 plus temperatures beginning of the week. 
and in the end of next week, fifth week in a row, that we'll be seeing another storm system move in. Take a look at that in just a moment. Look at the GFS for what kind of snow we might get. With that jet stream coming in, we're a bit, again, at the boundary between the cold pool of air to the north and the warm to the south, we get the jet stream there, and that's going to create banded precipitation over the state. So some folks are going to really win. There's six, eight inches of snow in the northern mountains there. Uh, in this particular run of the model, Longmont gets hit with about three inches of snow. That does not mean that's definitely what's going to happen. We could end up in this little gap between bands and just get a coating to an inch. One to three inches seems pretty good uh, from the GFS. The North American model is much less excited. It's, it sees the banding pattern. <clears throat> I've drawn the red lines here again too. But it keeps temperatures kind of warm and doesn't bring a lot of moisture in for the plains. So here we just get a trace to maybe a lucky inch or a boulder gets maybe an inch. It's not really impressive. That'd be kind of sad, but you know, well, I'll take all the moisture we can get. The GEM, the Canadian model, is trending the other direction. You can see some hint of the banding here. It's a little harder. I've, Maybe I connected dots I shouldn't have here. But you can see the mountains getting 10, 8 inches just nearby. And we get maybe 2 to 4 inches uh, here in Longmont. Boulder gets a lot more, maybe 5 inches or 6 inches of snow. So some disagreement between the different models and how they're handling the cold air and the moisture availability. We'll see. I'm calling for about 1 to 3 inches for Longmont. Taking a look at the cause of next week's storm, uh, this is early in the week, so we're still under the ridge and nice and warm here. The center of the ridge is out here in the Midwest or in the East, but this trough will start digging as they have every week down the West Coast and that'll be heading in for us by the end of the week. So maybe some more rain and snow then. Looking at the next seven days, Thursday, cold, snowy, windy, Friday, chance of evening showers again, warming up in the daytime though to where we would not get it snow if we did have some precipita precipitation occur, if I could speak. Saturday we get back close to 60, Sunday and beyond, 70, mid-70s possibly, Monday and Tuesday, and then Wednesday we get that we cool down and, and the hint of the beginning of our next system. For more local news and state news, go to longmontobserver.org. You'll also find my weather column there for more frequent updates and graphics. This has been Chief Meteorologist John Ensworth. For Longmont Public Media, this is the weather forecast for Longmont. Keep looking up.